The last thing I want to talk about is the difference between a color swatch and a spot color. In the lecture, I mentioned that the channels panel can show you if you're using what are called process colors, which is a combination of red, green, and blue wavelengths of light, or cyan, magenta, yellow, and black ink for printing. Sometimes when we print, we don't want to print with what's called a process build. We don't want to print with cyan, magenta, and yellow, and black to create a color. Um, there are problems with that. Um, printing is not perfect, and so if you print a million copies of a brochure at Company A in Wisconsin and a million brochures at Company B in Houston, there's a chance that the bright green color that you see will not be exactly the same. And when you have a branding color and you need to ensure that it prints exactly the same color no matter what printing process you're using, whether it's fabric, so think about like the University of Utah, they have a very specific red color. When they make t-shirts and they make hats, if they make printed flyers, if there are banners on the side of buildings, if they make pins or watches, anything, they want the exact shade of red that is required for the University of Utah. You can ensure that you print the exact color by literally using that color ink. So instead of making University of Utah red out of some combination of magenta and yellow, so you have to blend the colors together as you're printing, you can buy ink that is the exact color that you need. When you are creating swatches in Photoshop on the swatches panel, all of the colors are superficial. They are aesthetic colors that you would see and apply on screen, and then the colors that they are formed from when output, whether output for the web in RGB or output for printing in CMYK, that's determined when you go to output. If you want, in this case, I'll use the green color, if you want to print a very specific shade of green, you need to identify that color on the channels panel. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that, but you do not have to do it for Art 1280. If you take an advanced um, Photoshop course, you will learn all about using the channels panel to create spot colors. But essentially, on the channels panel, if you create a new channel, whoops, hit the option flyout menu, you wanna create a new spot channel, not just a regular channel, you can identify an additional color. You can only do this if you have a CMYK image open because spot colors don't exist for the web. I can't invent new wavelengths of light. I can't say use a blue light. Um, instead, uh, you can, alternatively, you can print with an additional color. Think about screen printing. When you make a t-shirt, usually you have white and yellow ink on a black t-shirt. You're not making a t-shirt out of CMYK or process build ink. So when you create a new spot color, you can create a custom color. It doesn't have to be a Pantone color. Any, any ink that is printed above and beyond CMYK is a spot color. Oftentimes we say it's a Pantone matching system color, but it doesn't have to be. So I could say spot green. I can choose a green color. And then anytime I use this color green in the image, it will be identified as being that green color. I'm gonna undo that. Let's add another one, so new spot channel. Instead of having spot green, when I hit to choose a color, I'm going to choose a color library, and I can choose a very specific shade of green. If I know the Pantone color for what I want, whoops, going the wrong direction here, maybe it's Pantone 10303C. I can select that color, and I can say this is Pantone 10303C. And then if someone opens my file, they can see that I want to print using Pantone 10303C. However, what we talked about in one of the previous videos is that these channels will show us what part of the image is made from that color. If I turn all of the colors off and I turn them on one at a time, this shows me where there's cyan in the image and then I can turn just the magenta on. There is magenta in the image, and there is yellow, and there is black, but the Pantone 10303C channel is empty. That's because I haven't used the channel. I have to fill it like I would fill a layer mask with color, 
And so the easiest way to create a spot channel, let's delete this one, is to make a selection in your image of everywhere that you want to use this color. So let's, let's undo a bunch of stuff to get rid of all my painting here. Image mode CMYK. If I wanted to use a spot green color or a spot orange color on the house, I could make a selection, however you want to make your selection. I'm going to do a color range selection, so select color range. And then I'm going to click the house, use the fuzziness slider to get more of the house. If I want everywhere that I see right now to use this spot orange color, I need to make, oops, I need to make a selection of the area of the image that uses that color. You can see it got more than the house, so I would probably end up grabbing the lasso tool. I'm going to use the option or the alt key, and then I could select all of the areas outside of the house that I actually don't want to print with the spot color. I would take more time to make sure that I got everything carefully. And now I have just the house selected. So now if I make my spot channel, hit the option flyout menu on the channels panel, choose new spot channel. I'm going, in this case, see it wants to be green. It kind of looks like moss. But if we wanted to just pop the orange color, we could select an orange shade. Is it more yellow? Let's go with Pantone 10129. We could select OK. And then now if I turn off my channels, and I leave just the Pantone on, you can see that it will print in the spot orange color and it will print in the places that you see. Now again, you don't have to be able to make a spot channel for Art 12 but you do have to recognize that if you select color via the color panel, the color picker, or the swatches, you are, you are selecting superficial colors, so just colors that you see on screen. If you wanted to physically print with a very specific shade of ink, you would have to select a spot color and you would do that via the channels panel.